Hello YouTube, welcome to Sunday Shop and put some new pipe in. We got that silver tape still to the shed and that other piece that sticks out is just where the seam is, keep the rain out. That's just that cheap duct pipe. We're going to try to zoom in here. My rain cap was rotted out, I'm tired of buying them for $8 worth. That's just a piece of pipe about a foot long. So it's six inch pipe, so it sticks out about three inches. See how the wind's coming out of the north, how it sucks it out of there? Have made one of them for years. But it works, you don't have a rain cap. And there's two rivets on each side so it can't rock back and forth. You know, so it holds it solid. Get you up close. Just regular wood out in the yard. I had some of that creosote telephone pole was a little bit blacker, but it's getting old. Anyway, off to something else. Okay, we painted that semi-gloss black. You can see down there. And we've slowly been building up the fire this morning several times to burn it off. So it looks like a flat black. So that's better than using flat black from the start. It is about... Sixty-eight. Said it's only like forty-five degrees outside. Uh, what's it look like there? Kind of went down. Kind of went down. The fire did. Uh, I've, said, I've had it shut down, but we did want to modify this. Uh, this comes right up to my. This comes right up there. My other ones, I made them longer, so you just move so far. Uh, so the flapper is longer. It's not there. It, it stops back in there. You're still going to get sparks when it's light up. We're going to build a deflector in there. Let's try this again so it ain't so smoky. There you go. Just wood from the yard. We're going to try a deflector right here. A piece of metal goes down so the sparks don't jump straight out of the hole. Just wood from the yard. Uh, from neighbor's elm tree. We had 45, 50 mile an hour wind so uh, there's plenty of branches around like this out in the yard I've been picking up this morning. So, there you go. Let's go off to another subject. Everybody's been sun to me for a long time and is probably tired of seeing my wood stove. Okay. This is our Smith & Wesson Tomahawk. You can pause on that. I've showed it in other videos. Uh, we did show we did take it to our belt sander and put that edge you know made it wider because that's just a real short edge <clears throat> excuse me we can do this we didn't like what it looked like how rough it was so we spent a lot of time we probably put probably an hour into this see the flat side of this one my diamond home i can't tell you the brand of this uh i really honestly can't tell you the brand it's a smith like my Smith sharpening system. There you go. They make them all kinds of brands. The other side's pointed. When I'm done, I'll show you. Uh, we went on the flat and actually smoothed all this. See where it changes the bevel. Then we went out here and put like a micro edge. What I call it. We put a sharp edge way out here. Real steep. So when I sharpen this, this is all I have to do now. I never have to go back and touch this part. And we buffed this with our scrub pad buffer. You know, we put in our drill where we cut up those 3M scotch pads. So, it's not bad. Because it still had paint here and there. And we might have got up in here a ways, but still. It's been used. We used it all last winter. So, there you go. I thought I'd show that. So, all I got to do to sharpen this now through the winter time, if I don't do any serious damage, is just that fine edge. We did not like how that looked. It was kind of uneven. Um, we just didn't like the look of it. So, I may take a picture, close-up picture of that, or I may not, because you've all seen knives and hatches before. Okay, on to a little project, and show you a new, uh, spray lube stuff that I found in clearance. So, stay tuned. Okay, we was in Walmart the other day. In fact, I left the sticker so we can see it here. Two bucks on clearance. It was normally three ninety six. Made by Dupont Chain Saver. I said this instead of taking a lot of pictures, 
just pause you can pause on it let's go around here to this part Teflon floral polymer improves lubricity big words will not fling off sets up with a dry wax film that's what I'm looking for okay this is what it sets up like we did the best we could we used a piece of this this has been drying for several days and we'll put our finger in here so it really doesn't dry if you put it on a q-tip it kind of almost have a yellow tinge to it but we're going to use this we found the use for this uh, besides just spraying on a chain okay thought you'd give a real good look at that stuff we're going to use it in our knife okay this is one of my spring assists it's TAC Force TF469 I gave the other one away the other one was really big and manly looking <laughs> this is more streamlined this they call it like a gentleman's lock blade knife you know it's, it's like a seven dollar knife and you can find them on Amazon uh, no need to put a link just put it in there so don't get paid to show these I don't even monetize my Sunday video just for that fact I show a lot of products it's kind of slow the spring is wimpy I might have showed me working on this knife so we don't really want to show you the, how we take it apart but we will snap a couple of pictures because it's pretty easy this one you just take out the screw here you don't have to take the whole side off if I remember right you just take this part off you get to the spring so I will snap a couple of pictures we're going to put it on them plastic washers now the washers could be Teflon or just cheap plastic it is just too slow for me there should be more of a snap to that there's not much side to side I didn't leave it to whatever but we will use our little kit I know we always show it that suddenly in the shop we can make these a little longer we feel pressed on videos anymore because uh, average viewing time on a video is two minutes we're going to use our little kit here that has all your torque bits and everything we'll bring it up here and pause we'll get real close get more on the torques I bought this just just like so work on these knives so uh we'll come back after we're done putting that on the little washers we'll take some pictures of the plastic washers and this disassembled so you kind of what's involved what i'm getting to i want to lube it up with that stuff and see if it improves the slipperiness you know if i can make the spring tighter and see if it kind of improves the because that it just feels so stiff and it's not even tight i mean it's it's not a smooth action on a cheap and i know they're plastic washers they make them like brass whatever but we'll be back that way we can put a couple more things in this video without having these little little jobs too long so stay tuned okay we decided to show this this is kind of one of my more complicated ones we did take a picture of the spring before and after when we straightened it we made it a better bend to it it was kind of crunched up see how we kind of opened it up it should be a lot tighter these were filthy in fact that's how nasty they were just the washers and the grease in there because we did do the spring on this once we never took it apart we're going to put that lube stuff on these and a little bit on here we'll use a q-tip uh, we'll lay it on something like a piece of paper so we don't get it all over our cloth here. Our old mossy oak t-shirt for a background. We're tired of that ugly towel. You can even tell the difference time you go over there. I think you'll agree. It's time to change to something nicer. And I've had trouble with the color and the brightness. And this seems to be a little better today. I'm using the same bulb as I always use. So this is kind of an experiment. But. Uh, there you go. We just thought I'd show you. One goes on either side of the blade. You take one of these apart like I did. See that? That's the bit for that. That's the screw. That's for that screw. I had to take this off because the spring just goes underneath the wood. You can't get the spring out. You had to take this, the wood scale off. So, stay tuned.
We'll bring it back. We'll tell you if we think it feels a little more slippery or making up my own words again. Okay, we're done. We'll have a few pictures. And of course, we had to take this off to get this side of the screw out. It just touches it enough. It feels a little better. Uh, that's how I fidget them washers. And if, if you've ever done it, it's better if the whole knife was apart, actually. But I just had to hit it. And I, what I did is you got to hold your, your lock over and fidget the blade around. And at the same time you do with that one hand, you got to slide it over. And they were slippery. I put them in wet. I didn't let the stuff dry. But it does have a little better click to it. It's still slow. It's not one of the good spring assist knives. I bet the spring is so cheap if I take it apart again after using it a while, the spring will be collapsed again. It's a little more solid when you hear it click. I'm thinking about carrying this. I have a field jacket I'll show sometime. Uh, special deal at Walmart. It's a field jacket. It's got a little bit of a liner in it. Insulation it was $24. It's some weird price like $23.96. And it was not even on the same rack with these other jackets. There were some $24 jackets there that was like a plastic. This is the stuff that almost looks uh, like your uniform shirts and pants. You know, that really slick uh, material. It almost looks waterproof. And I got it just because of this rainy season. Uh, instead of wearing a hoodie getting it wet, I have like a denim type shirt. Uh, it's not cheap either. It was a pretty expensive shirt at Bass Pro Shop. I should show that. Uh, I'm not, I never brag when I show stuff off. Uh, some of you might be interested, but maybe next week. We'll show the shirt I got at Bass Pro Shops last year in my Walmart field jacket, which has snaps on the pocket. You can snap it up without using a zipper, so... I'll probably never use a zipper because you know how cheap coats a zipper wears out. I think it's more slippery. I really do. And that stuff will never dry. It's like a, like I said, Teflon grease. But there you go. Enough of that. Uh, I used to do a lot of knife videos when I was into it buying them a year or so ago around Christmas time. But one more look at that. I said this will last me a lifetime. He has a ball in it and mixes stuff up. So, like I said, I want to take a picture. So if you want to read what this stuff is, we'll pause here one more time. To show what it does. That's what you're more interested in. Is that stuff. And what the front of the can looks like. Other uses. I really like my new camera. I can get way up here. That's where the tape was. I could have cleaned that off, but... Wax based. There you go. It'd be worth the four bucks to me even. Uh, but at clearance, I was willing to gamble for a couple bucks. Uh, the sticker was up here. It comes with a straw. Do not ask where the straw is. I took it out. It's laying up here somewhere on the table. So, How much is in it? 3.5 fluid ounces. Okay, enough of that. We'll find one more thing for this week. Then we're out of here. And like I said, that was my pokey tool. Everybody knows, it subbed to me for a while, knows who gave me this. That's heat shrink to me because the thing kept slipping on my hand all the time. And I didn't like tape. And it's shorter than it used to be. I'll ruin it. <laughs> I'll admit it. I'll ruin the tip and I'll redo it. I'll re sand it on the flapper, do it. Anything I got will grind. So I ruin the tip and then I redo it. And these are really junky. You can tell how junky they are. Uh, spring load, but they work so good. They're small, old little needles. So, basic tools that's not a basic tool. I mean, that's kind of spendy, but if you can afford it and you do this kind of stuff, you'll find it on Amazon. I said, you'll, you'll find it out there. You'll, you'll just, just look, look up Tecton Tools. They actually have their storefront you can go to. It's well worth having. Uh, the tweezers. Uh, for small stuff and that's your little spudge whatever I used that on the car when I was doing the windshield put the sealer in I was running across that rubber gasket There you go enough plugging that tool So it took three different size bits. So like I said, we don't want to make these too long They've been like 15 minutes, but it gives us something to watch on Sunday. I guess so stay tuned We'll have one more little thing before we go this week 
Okay, beans, it's tis the season for the wood stove. Uh, we'll split some with the tomahawk there. Uh, it's like your average branches that come down in the storms off the neighbor's maple tree. And we used our, I'm going to take a whole bunch of pictures of this now. That's how long it is. I've had a video on it. It really snaps in there too. That little ball right there snaps into the sheath. We sawed a lot of wood with this. This is the one we had to blade on our rigged up uh, tree saw and that paintbrush holder. And I could have ruined it. I got the snag once. I, I bent it. I thought it was going to break. I went up and it bent. Uh, so it's got a little bit of a bend and I straightened it. There's a little bit of bow to it. But been using that. Works really fast. Okay, let's hit this one time. We got to do this without gloves because we won't be able to run the camera. So here we go. Here's the telephone pole. Not sawed straight at all because the chain, I gave up on that chain. Let everybody know. This is very hard stuff. I mean, it's very hard. Hate spending this many seconds even doing it. One more time, it's starting to crack. Nope. You can see the knots in it. You gotta remember, pine tree has branches that grow all the way from the center of the little tree. That's why pine is hard to split. There we go. Aha. See that? Just so you know I'm not lying. See how it grows all the way from the center. Hope you can see that down here, right there. So it makes it very hard to split. Really hard. We'll set this up here and give it a good high up. Uh, we can see it before we go. Hi up. Uh, there you go. Thanks for watching this week. We'll look forward to seeing you next week.